Sally Cocker and I'm here today to explain to you what reflexology is and what you can expect from a treatment here with me. So how I will start is a visual aid for you. So I'll use this chart as a very good example. So the feet, well the hands, the face and the ears also, but the feet essentially within my treatment, all have glands within the feet. So if you can see there, here is, so here you're looking at the head, the sinuses, and the ears and the eyes, you're looking at the lungs, you're looking at the stomach, you're looking at the intestines, and the toes have all the sinuses within them, and this toe here is relative to the head. So there are glands within all parts of the feet and they all are attached to nerve endings which run to those corresponding parts of the body. If you're ticklish, don't worry. There is a technique that I use so it's not ticklish on the feet. So a lot of people also message me and explain they don't like their feet. Please don't worry about this. I have seen hundreds of feet over the years and there is not a foot I haven't been able to work on so far. You will be welcomed into the treatment room here in Ellerton in East Yorkshire and you will be asked a series of questions about what you would like to get from your reflexology. You'll be asked whether you'd like to sit up or lay back, cocooned in the blankets and doze off to sleep. The choice is yours. What I usually find with a lot of my clients is they know I'm a life coach and they know I'm a meditation and mindfulness coach. So we tend to work through certain frustrations. So reflexology works to alleviate imbalances within the body. Now bear in mind the word I said is works towards. So it's not a cure, it's not a specific treatment plan and as reflexologists, we should not be diagnosing. So here in my clinic, I don't diagnose. What I may say to you is, right, around the toe, around the big toe area, there's some congestion. Would you maybe suffer from headaches? Do you suffer with teeth problems? If that's a yes or a no, then if it's a no, I don't, then it may be you've just held your neck a little bit tight during that day. So it may just be reflective of some tension sitting within that area. So we can't diagnose as reflexologists. So we won't give you any bad news. We don't know if there's any bad news in your feet. Who knows? Nobody can know but a doctor. So you should always visit your own GP. You should always seek medical advice. And please don't ever change your own treatment plan with your GP unless expressly discussed with your own GP. We may, as well I may, as a reflexologist, suggest that you go to your GP and maybe discuss the medication you're currently on, because it may be that I pick up from you, you're not truly happy with being on that particular medication, or that the medication isn't working for you. And I may instinctively know that there may be a better option for that. So during that time, I may look to give you the understanding of other alternatives for you. And if that's something you don't want to choose, everything here is to your own decision making. It may be you just want to come and fall to sleep and just have a relaxing treatment. That's fine too. Reflexology works by placing specific pressure to those glands on the feet that I showed you on the poster. In turn, by placing the pressure on them, what that does is that sends a nerve impulse up the nerve pathway, which if you're pressing on the brain reflex, that will send a message up the nerve pathway and that will stimulate the corresponding organ to the gland you're pressing on. Now what that means is basically we are increasing blood flow to the area. Now blood flow is essentially your healing mechanism, your own self-healing mechanism in the body. 
it's the blood cells created through the blood flow that is able to put right what may be wrong in the body. What that will do is that will enhance your body's own way of working. So if you are suffering with any specific illness, disease, frustration, as a reflexologist, we may be able to work around that area to stimulate the blood flow to the area and in turn that will enhance your body's own healing mechanism.